Hey YouTube, just want to do a quick video on this uh, macerator. Um, as you can see, this is a C flow macerator. So just right from the beginning, what we we didn't actually mean to order uh, the C flow. We wanted to get the sewer flow, but from what we can tell so far, they seem to be the exactly the same product. Um, and uh, by the time we're done with this uh, video, we'll find out whether or not it works the same. But it, everything seems to be the same. The numbers are the same. Um, this uh, We got this off of Amazon, $150. Um, as of um, June 2019. All right, so the reason why I'm doing this video is to show how to set it up. Because I saw a lot of pictures of people showing how to set up, but nothing real specific. So I'm gonna to try to do something a little more specific so you don't have to go through the issues that I had. All right, so first of all, um, let's start with this hose right here. Okay, this hose, I got all, I got this hardware, all this stuff at Lowe's, okay? Now the main thing you need to know about this hose is that it has an inside diameter of one inch. Okay, here's the, the remnant piece that I have. Um, you can buy this stuff at Lowe's uh, by the foot which makes it cheap because any other size hose that's clear like this you have to buy it like 20 feet at a time and then you're talking 20 some dollars almost 30 dollars i think i paid three to four dollars for a foot of this and then i just cut it in half okay so inside diameter of one inch that's the most important thing that you want to know because that's what this barb is this barb right here fits a one inch inside diameter hose okay now uh, the hose clamps, these are the hose clamps that I got right here. Sorry about the glare. All right, so there's the item number. Okay, good enough. Now, the next thing you need to know is this piece here, this gray piece. Now, this is a, a barb, okay, and it has a piece of pipe fitting on this side. Now, here's, I got the plastic for this. It's The writing's a little bit messed up on here. So you can see it's a three-quarter to one inch male adapter, okay, and there's the numbers for it, hopefully that helps, all right, you can pause and get more information off of that if you need to, all right, so that's just going to slide into here, put the clamp down the hose fitting, this here, I was also confused about this when I first got this, I did not see this thing, it got kind of lost in the jumble, but what this does, this goes right here. This is where the water goes in so you can flush your tank. Okay, there's a one-way valve here. Make sure that stays in. This is just gonna screw on, okay? And then this just pops on, all right? This little fitting here is designed just to pop right onto that. Okay, I can do this one-handed. I got an assistant here. Okay, there it is. All right, it's on there now. All right, so you just put your hose on here and you wanna have a specific hose for this too, even though it's a one-way valve, you're dealing with sewer. So have a, a specific hose for that. At least that's how we're gonna do it now. All right, next thing. There is a, the fuse for this unit is inside of here. I'll tell you right away that if you need to replace this fuse, unscrew this top piece here, okay? Just uh, unscrew that. The fuse will come right out. I'm trying to find out what kind of fuse this is. Um, I got the fuse out and I looked at it, but I'm not really sure exactly what it is because the, the writing on it was not very specific. You do not want to take this screw out and take this thing apart. I did that and it was a mess, all right? Now, to get this whole thing to work, you need to connect it, connect it to the battery. So this is an old setup that I had for uh, jeeping, okay? and it's an adapter, all right? This is a cigarette lighter or DC uh, power, and yes, it's rigged up, okay? Um, I bought this for, I don't know, you get these at Walmart or an automotive store for nothing. It's a replacement cigarette lighter or DC uh, power, and then you can see what I did here with this. And this is just some, some two core wire, and I clamped on some alligator uh, clamps, so I can just clamp it right onto my batteries at the front, uh, yeah, this can be all made, you know, you can wire this in 
um, along your, your frame, and I might do that later, uh, but I have this for right now, so I'm gonna be using this, so real easy. You know, you just plug that in and, um, you know, just run that to the battery, and then the unit will work. Okay, so last thing that we're, that we're doing, uh, this is how we decided to go to the to the black water dump. Okay, so what we have here, these are female ends here. Okay, um, and we're just going to run hoses to this. This is an adapter. This stuff is all off of Amazon. Let's get it off of there. It's, man, it's on there. It's on there good. Okay, that's nice to know. That's not going to come off easy. So that's all that is. It's, it's an adapter. So you can adapt to this to put a hose in it. Um, let me get the the packaging that it came in. Here's the packaging for that. Also Amazon, uh, relatively inexpensive. And then you can see how we, um, our trailer, the reason why it's like this is that we have separate um, gray water and black water are gonna go this side. That is from our shower, our restroom. Uh, and, and bathroom and this side is going to be for the kitchen um, and so we decided to do it this way uh, there's other ways to do it but this is just kind of our experiment and we figured we'll try it we'll let you know if it works okay so that's it for the countertop part next thing you'll be seeing is when we actually hook this thing up and um, try it out a few more things here for the countertop just wanted to show you the hose that we got um, I believe we got this one at Home Depot. It's a commercial, it's a rubber hose. It's actually, uh, it's, it's pretty heavy duty. It might be a little overkill, but since we're dealing with sewer, we figure, hey, let's get the good stuff. Um, there are more expensive hoses out there, but this one is commercial. It's like, yeah, it's made out of thick rubber. All right, and then one last thing on the tabletop. This is our gray water dump. Um, coming out of the trailer that we got um, again it has um, we put that same adapter on this side here um, and the reason why we were doing this is one we can see when we're draining how much water flow we got this is clear um, and uh, this also is the same thing you can uh, use this to fill up your gray tank if you want to flush your gray tank uh, before you put it into storage all right, and oh yeah, I didn't mention that the reason why you want to have this clear hose on the macerator is that because you you don't you do not want to run this this macerator dry. Okay, if you don't have fluid going through here, you don't have fluid going through here, it's gonna it's gonna mess it up. Okay, it's designed to have uh, liquid moving through it, so that's why you want this. You want to be able to tell that you still have um, sewage moving through. All right. Next, we'll hopefully be um, showing you how this thing works out. All right, so um, make a, I'm gonna make a, um, a correction here. Uh, I'm gonna take this fitting off, because this is a female, and I need to put a male here. So this is the part number here. Just a little more Teflon tape on here. Okay, so this is gonna, this is so it's gonna hook to uh, the male hose. All right, so next we're gonna actually start setting up this, the unit. Go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just start attaching this. So this is our black water tank. That's just some chemical water that was left over. It's a brand new RV here. All right, so. Pretty easy setup there. So you can see how that is 
set up and here's the power cord already um, set up the alligator clamps so here's to our power here okay and like I said this is kind of oop. yeah it's live all right I guess I don't want that anywhere near you. you guys saw that right so we're learning together here today so here's the power cord now if you come over here you'll see the alligator clamps hopefully I just didn't ring the threads on my jack so here's the negative and the positive very simple and like I said it's just temporary um, or it's an easy way to set it up too all right next we'll hook up the hoses All right, so this is uh, for our black water side here. And like I said, you guys are gonna be learning with us here. This is the first time we've used this system, but nobody else made a video, so um, I figured this is uh, gonna help everybody. And this is our gray water here, okay? Now we'll go to the other side and I'll show you where it starts uh, at the macerator. All right, so here's the connection straight to the macerator here. Now, we do have a lot of extra hose here. Um, so we're gonna find out um, how this works out. I'm just trying to keep it from kinking because um, that would be the biggest problem. And uh, the only other thing we have to do is set up the, the um, this part. This is to flush the, the system. And uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. All right. All right, we're going to do a black tank drain. Uh, we've already ran this with the uh, gray tank. We did find out something that uh, that the DC adapter was wired backwards. So the motor was running backwards. Um, I adjusted that. All I had to do is switch the wires um, from negative to positive and then the motor is running in the right direction. So that's something to watch out for. So here we go, we're gonna pull the black tank. So that blue color you see is the, uh, the stuff that they put in the tank because it's a new trailer. So that keep draining. I might uh, cut the video if this takes a long time. Alright, so there's not much else to see here. Um, the gray water is draining right now. We didn't have a lot in the black water tank, but I wanted to drain it anyway. Um, since I'm actually working at this campground, I don't have a lot of time to um, make sure that um, the trailer isn't you know, the rest of the family. I don't want them to have to mess with this. So. Um, next, I'll be showing how we flush the black tank. That's probably when we're going to be tearing down camp. Um, 